Good morning everyone, Tina Spaulding Trance Channel here today for our morning session of day 32 of 40 Days and Nights with Jesus. Let's see what he has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. The signs that you are seeing in your society can be distressing and the implications of those signs can make you feel afraid or they can make you feel uh, imprisoned or they can make you confused. What is happening when this is, ha is going on is that you are looking outside of yourself into the ego's playground, which is renowned for being crazy. It's always been crazy. There's always been death and destruction and despots and holocausts going on in the ego's playground. That is the nature of separation. When you are looking to the world for your salvation and your peace, you will always be disappointed. You will always be disappointed because it manifests the lowest frequencies into physical form. If you understand how spiritual manifestation works, the higher frequencies do not manifest into physical form, but they manifest into feelings and creativity and inspiration and love, these, these things that you know are real and yet are not manifested into physical reality. They are in the ethers, so to speak. When you're looking at physical hard copy things, bodies and cars and houses, you are looking at the lowest frequency of 3D. When things become physically manifested, their frequency has slowed down so much that it has come into being. And there is so much uh, energy behind the thoughts and feelings that have brought something into being that they are dominant in this society of separation and this ego-driven society. So what you are witnessing now are, is the end result of all negative beliefs and ideas that you all have been holding over time. So it's very, very important that you are not looking to the world as your salvation. You must go inside and you must raise your frequency up through the methodologies that we speak about in all our teachings, eating well, going out in nature, uh, being around people you love, um, being creative, connecting to spirit, all of these ways, mastering your mind. When you do that, you are attracting to you a future that is kind and gentle and loving. When you go to the news or when you go to... Um, any kind of information about what is happening in the world now and you look at it and you believe it and you see it as a threat to your well-being, your ego will be triggered because <clears throat> remember your ego is all about survival. So if it sees armies marching in the streets of a nearby town, it is going to go into fear and when you go into fear, you lose your intelligence and you lose your connection to higher wisdom. So this is very a very, very important time as we approach the US election and all of the repercussions from that, as you approach the news streams that are going to be coming towards you, bombarding you with negative information. How do we know it's going to be negative? Because it's always negative. You do not get happy stories on mainstream media. It's just not the case. So why would you go there if you know that they never give you a positive spin on anything. They never give you reason to hope. They never give you reason to be optimistic. They never give you strategies for true health and well-being. We must remind you of this because the hypnotic qualities of your television programs are affecting so many people. And we want the thousands of you that are watching this series to share this information. When you're at the dinner table this Thanksgiving with people, tell them to turn their TVs off and they'll say, oh, we can't, we need to know what's happening. And then you can say, you are being scanned. You are being taken down into fear 
and in fear the human mind always seeks an outside authority to protect it. It goes into a childlike state of panic and that is what your governments understand and that is what your new systems understand that if you are constantly in fear then you will allow authoritarian regimes to rule you because you are in fight or flight or freeze mode. Remember, we're going to say this one more time, when you are frightened, you go into fight or flight or freeze. So you all have the, your homes and your rooms full of furniture and your national boundaries. You cannot flight. The government has made it clear, you cannot fight. You get thrown in jail, you get a ticket, you get tased. There is only one thing for the primitive part of the ego mind to do when it is afraid, and that is to freeze, which means you sit in your house cowering, doing nothing. The only way for you to combat this strategy is to refuse to become frightened, refuse to consume this information, and go to the kinds of information that we are producing or that high frequency beings are producing. Inspirational, uh, self-empowerment messages, health messages, feeling good messages are the ones that you must make yourself listen to so that you stand strong, so that you are connected to your ability to think clearly using the brain that you have which you cannot use if you are in fear. So as soon as you feel fear, ask yourself, what have I just done? What have I just listened to? Oh, I'm listening to my ego telling me it's dangerous out there. Don't listen to those thoughts. Listen to higher minded, loving teachers. It could be us. It could be some other channel or therapist or somebody that you know is really on your side and begin to say it's not dangerous out there. There are no boogeymen waiting to get me. I am going to keep my energy high. I'm going to focus on abundance. I'm going to focus on my ability to be free and at peace. And in that, in that freedom and peace, you will find the information that you need to make the decisions that you need to make. So your responsibility today is to Refuse to allow yourself to entertain any fear thoughts that are going to disempower you and make you freeze. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again later. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.